when you speak on gang intervention versus history, there are a lot of controversial situations being spoken about online about the Giomi from 6 that almost the whole world on the street level respects. I've spent a lot of time respecting cuz and Big U got some allegations where they try to bring up his name with gang intervention and there's some paperwork online where his signature is on a contract. And I remember when it first went viral, my reaction to it was like, damn, I was disappointed, shocked, couldn't believe I saw what I saw. And I'm like, damn, it's 223, 2023. I don't believe cuz when he signed that shit. I said, gotta be some trickeration in the gang because I don't believe Big U would sign that type of uh, agreement. And I spoke on it in that fashion and I left it alone because it didn't look good at all. And I couldn't understand the G homie that I knew Big Draws to be. I couldn't understand him signing that. So I said what I said and I left it alone. I didn't harp on it. But it kind of, the story got bigger than just me speaking on it. And it ended up Big Draws coming on my um, platform almost some months after it went viral discussing a whole nother subject and he got at me he like yeah cuz you you know what you, you know I wouldn't sign no shit like that cuz they changed the wording but just because you brought it up this was not on my list of things to bring up but you brought up gang intervention and like a lot of people out here I believe in what big you push all the shit we know that he represent this the only black eye potentially that pops up that makes it hard to defend him. I was love to hear, I love when he said they changed the word. But you are expert and you a historian in this shit. Do that resonate with you? Do Am I a fool for believing that you, he didn't sign it until they changed the wording and they may be putting a triggeration online or do you believe that that might be a possibility that Cause I know how this shit go. Like it's easy to show something online and make it look like, but Cuz told me on Lightwood he didn't sign it till the wording was changed. And I want to believe that. Well, I know the facts behind that whole situation, but uh, I'm not the one under the microscope being challenged on that. So the homie got to speak up for herself on that. And if he choose not to, that's his prerogative. But let's look at it like this, okay? Not that this is how I go, but just for for reference. Let's say you work for Alex Alonzo, mm -hmm. right? And now uh, he he's signing your checks. He's paying you. Mm -hmm. And now you under the microscope. Do you go out publicly and try to explain yourself to jeopardize your contract, to jeopardize your money? So no. so that that's the situation of he course. finds himself in. So he got to speak to that. I can't speak But it's to certain that. people of a certain level of intelligence that over, under, understanding that immediately. And I'm one of them because a lot of times – I my character online becomes under question. And the only way you can put that fire out to the curious people is almost incriminate yourself. And if I have to explain, and if I'm feel pressed to try to clarify, you might fuck off your whole lick trying to prove to somebody it ain't what they think it is. Is that what you are trying to say? Yeah, but absolutely. But I know you're about eight years younger than me, mm -hmm. but we was brought up, and I'm sure you probably was too, we not doing a whole bunch of explaining. Oh, my mama, mama. If a dude want to be ignorant or hateful, that's his prerogative. Only thing with Big U is Big U has chose not to speak up on it. Wise and, that, and, and, and it's wise for him and his family. Look, Cuz got a, a son in the NFL. Shout out to nephew. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. They doing the family thing, they family together, they all live in the same house. He ain't got no kids that don't live with him, no kids that he don't raise. He look out for other kids in the neighborhood. You He's know, look out for my children, my three boys. I mean, that's just what cuz do yeah. when a lot of people can't do it or don't know how to do it. They hate it, they fear it, they scared of it, they are jealous of it. But again, it's up to Big U to speak on that. I, you know, Big U my homeboy, I can't speak against or for that. He gotta defend himself. But have you ever heard any conversation around the subject matter of the language of that contract being changed? From I'm familiar with all that. Okay. And yeah, the, the language was changed. That's all I want to hear, cuz neighborhood on my blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, see, see, let me just say this, spider the right. Um, There's a lot of people in the gang intervention stuff, right? From so different many. sets. My different homies sets. too. Bloods, Crips, uh, East Side, West Side, all I, that, I got right? some reputable niggas from my hood that have the, that are in the exact same agreement with the same organization. Exactly. Go ahead. Though. Exactly. But 
when you hear these hateful mouths mm -hmm. on YouTube or the internet that either have a agenda against the homie or don't know the homie, they don't understand that the whole city is up under the contract similar mm -hmm. to that. But the wording was changed for developing options. And I don't see an issue with it personally. Like, but we're going to leave it like that, nail in the coffin one time for the hometown champ because everybody know Big U name is the biggest name at this point that has been exposed as somebody from the gutter out here that has bridged the gap between industry and streets. Uh, it's a thin line to walk anytime you got that much motherfucking exposure and you matter from your section and you want to do something positive to bring about change. That is something so difficult to bring about somebody that's not even from the inner circle having such a loud expertise on it after he was on cuz nuts so hard. It just make it difficult to try to get a lot of people who don't really know what's going on understand. So I'm glad you came and brought some clarity to that. Right. I ain't never stopped fucking with cuz. I fuck with cuz. Yeah. Oh my mama mama. So tell me this with that being said. Let, let me stop you before, before then. Hold that thought. Mm -hmm. Cuz also employed a lot of gang members in the city too. Black men? Black men. <laughs> Couple, so he, not only is he a couple essays too, couple essays. So not only is he involved in employing a certain generation of us, he's also involved in rearing and raising and through the athletic programs a whole nother generation of us. Absolutely. Now now don't spot it low, you know, before you move on. Mm -hmm. uh, the homie, the homie has been getting money for years. Mm -hmm. And the homie did a stretch in prison and come home. A lot of people, man, that 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 weighs heavy on people's hearts because they can't get no money like that. Mm. And you know what money does? It creates envy and jealousy. Mm -hmm. You was a rapper. You was getting your paper. You know how it go. I'm yes, sure sir. you had some niggas hating on you or no, I have. tripping on how you politic in the rap Only industry. Only time my name that. ever, every time I had to deal with any kind of game bank politics, it wasn't until I was a famous rapper. That's when, until then, you know the brand of Crip I am. Never name, never was on, never no kind of nothing. Only time I ever had to even think about somebody caught theyself maybe wanting to speak my name in the politics was once I was on that type shit. Exactly. Yeah. You know how I go.